Yeah, 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 neighborhood real. Y'all get up in here and get to some good story. Just a little lightweight story about, you know, just the exploits of the neighborhood feel. Yeah, man, y'all tap in, man. Y'all hit that like button when you get up in here. Just hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we're going to keep it coming. I'm going to keep it coming to you. Man, today's story is about just some lightweight. People asking me, though, this one, I'm going to answer this question for everybody. Because in the back side of it, on my DMs, people asking me, like, yeah, tell them, like, war stories. Like, what says, yo, yo, y'all was beefing with such and such, such such, you know, what it was like. This one I'm gonna say, this my disclaimer. I'm not gonna talk about those type of stories, for one, because it's like opening up old wounds. Two, we don't beef with them. Some of them says we not even, you know, it ain't even up like that no more. That was, that was the 80s, that was then. So what happened during that time, just happened during that time, we'll leave it like that. You know what I'm saying? Do anybody want to know? Like, I know the people that know me know what's up. And it's like, yeah, man, you know, we, I blase this, 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 you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. But I, yeah, we can't do that. I can't do that. I'm, that's why I don't drop names. I don't, I don't really disclose locations, but none of that stuff when I tell these stories, because some of these people still alive. Some of these people still feeling some type of way. And sometimes, man, just you just don't want to put yourself out there. So, with that being said, yeah, man, one day we up on Little Century. If everybody don't know, that's in the ACH right there off of Van Ness and Century. Between Western Century, Van Ness, you know what I'm saying, the ACH right there, right? So, we up in the 104, man. I'm over here kicking it. It's me, Cowboy, you know what I'm saying? We just chilling. The homie, you know what I'm saying, from ACH. You know what I'm saying? Got a little Joe out there, Slim. And uh, this before we, uh, Blue got chip, rest in peace, blue. We all just chilling, man, and uh in the apartments in the breezeway, chilling over the whole girl on the house, just having a good time, you know, shooting the shit, whatever, whatnot. And uh, yeah, man, you know, like say the war was on back then, the war was really on. So, yeah, man, at this particular time, you know, there's a lot of good things going on in the neighborhood at that time, man, and in the apartments right there on the little century. And that was really basically where I personally would go hang out because it was Pacific. It was for specific reasons why I was up there, right? Because it just put me in close proximity what I wanted to be doing and then who I was trying to get at. So, with that being said, yeah, man, we out there chilling one day. You know, we out here hustling or whatever, whatnot. So, uh, man, you know how the, you know how the game go when you got to work or whatever you doing your thing, and you know they come get that that credit, and it's time to pay up. You know, them checks that came around. It's you know what I'm saying the first and the fifteenth. They gotta get that check money and then we got they gotta uh settle up their debts. So we out here chilling and everybody, you know, just hanging out. So they coming through. Everybody dropping off what they owe and whatnot. So I'm just sitting back, you know, because I always been one of the type of people. When I do things or I'm out here grinding, I try to keep it firm. I know the game ain't firm, and it, it's supposed to be played dirty, and sometimes and sometimes, you know what I'm saying, they gotta be played outside the lines. I get that. But then one thing about people treat people a certain type of way, man, they're going to bless you back. So this is story, right? So I got the, I got the feed, you know what I'm saying? She be coming through. I ain't going to call her name because she's still around. But yeah, she come through and she pay me. She tell me, hey, come here. So I go over there and buy an apartment and she tell me to come in. And this is the first time I've been inside her apartment, right? And I'm thinking, okay, you know, the usual no fiends, you know what I'm saying, what not, what not. I go in her, her apartment is immaculate on the inside. So I'm kind of confused, like what? Like dang, and she got a parrot. Yeah, yeah, she got a parrot, big green parrot in a cage. And so I'm up in there and she like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, you go to money, boom, boom, boom. So I take the money, I'm like, all right, all right. And then she like, man, you know, here goes some, woo, woo, we do our little thing, whatever, what not, we get on, I get on. She tell me come back because she cooking. I was gonna say in case you hungry. So I ain't shit. We ain't never had this type of no conversation or nothing. It's always been business. So I'm like, I'm just looking around like damn it's nice. So she like, yo, I'm cooking, I got my grandkids, this guy. So I'm like, what you cooking? Oh, spaghetti. Oh, that's my favorite. I love spaghetti. That's me. I'll be back. I'm getting a plate. So I go out here, we chilling. So I got the other little fool, he opens some money and he see me. And then the homie, you know what I'm saying, he pulling up. Nut, you know what I'm saying? Nut pull up, and you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, nut. He pull up, and uh, 
We hit the jumbo, big jumbo, that rest in peace too. They pull up and the double like, yeah, man, we, we, we trying to get this dude. We trying to get this dude. But the little fool that slid me, my little old huncho. So I get my little huncho and I just fall back. So we stand in the breezeway on the back side of the apartments, right? We go into the alley where the wasps here at. So we back there talking, and you know, he back there talking to the fool one night, and he getting a gang of drag. He getting, a, he getting another gang of drag about why he ain't got the money and what he gonna do it. He only gonna pay him so much. I think he owed nothing like about 200, right? So he tripping, he dragging nothing. Well, I'm talking about he getting them top flight drag about why he can't pay him. I know why you can't pay him. You just paid me and some other people that ain't really gonna be tripping. But you know, the homie nut, man, he ain't trying to hurt that. He ain't got that understanding about his bread. So guess what? We standing up and he talking to him and then he like dragging him, dragging him. And finally nut just fall from him. Fop, fop, fop. Man, he touched the wall with a two piece so hard, right? That the, that the fool fall back up against the door. You know how they got the burglar bar doors and stuff right there. So to the watch there, he fall and he got the little designs on it. He get caught up in the hood by his sweatshirt. Ugh, he just hanging on that boy like a sweater. <laughs> I mean, Nothing put that boy to sleep and hung him up like a sweater on that on the burglar bar door. He just like this laying up there. I'm like, oh man, that nigga. Boy, we laughing like, dang, somebody get him up off of her. You know, man, she don't get my money. So nothing going in pockets, flipping pockets, or whatever, take whatever he got, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you owe me this. Like, what you tripping on? So we all chilling and whatnot, man, and it's all good. So, like, you know, we go through it. It's like, hey, man, she called me. I go over there and get this food, right? So I'm sitting there, like, come on in. I'm, I'm really tripping, you guys, you feel me? Because I'm just looking at how nice her apartment is. All this work you be scoring for me? Where you getting it like? I never thought she lived like this, right? But you never, you can't judge a book by the cover, right? Just because somebody do something don't mean that they file, right? So it's just lessons I'm learning being young. So we over there eat whatever, and then she did with what she put her foot on that spaghetti. I ain't gonna lie. She did her thing with the other vegetables, of course. But yeah, we out here, so you know, once it get night, once it start, the sun start to drop, and y'all know how LA is, it gonna get wicked at night. So we in the apartments and whatnot, man, we chilling this stuff. So of course, you know, we we surrounded by rivals, you know what I'm saying? Well, we're going to our, going west, everything I rival, and going, just going for north, right? Everything I rival, so we surrounded, you know what I'm saying? You know, by the, by the nines, on, by nine oh, you know what I'm saying, ABP. You know what I'm saying? You got Chris Shaw Mafia down the way. You know what I'm saying? Behind us, you know what I'm saying? You got Watergate, shotgun, all that going on. But that's here or not. So, look, you know, like I say, nighttime it get wicked, right? So, you know, that people going to be turning corners. They going to be bending corners. They going to be prowling, night prowling, looking, you know? And the sense get hot by the storm in the alley right there. So, we always know it's always at one time. They can always be on the lookout because guess what? They be creeping through. It's like, they always do it. I don't know how they time it. I don't know what they doing. They probably calling somebody. They probably got somebody spying. I don't know. But I'll be wondering, how in the hell we out here, well, I'm out here, and y'all come through here and be able to strike up and, and strike up on, on the walls or right up in the apartments, up under, up under my brother's nose, like right up under my nose. I'm like, bro, what the man? Like, yeah, I'm just tripping on that, right? So. I be done now, I'm on extra patrol now because this has happened so many different times. It's like, yeah, one of these times, yeah, bing, bada, bing, boom. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I'm going to catch you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to sock you out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to catch you. So let, let the light go on, man. We chilling and whatnot, man. And, you know, it ain't got late, late. It ain't got late. So, you know, everybody buzz. We've been drinking 40s. You know, they just hanging out. You know, I don't personally smoke weed or nothing like that. I don't do that. So I might hear on my little four and ass game, you know what I'm saying? You know, I scratched the eight and all this old type of stuff. So we out here, man, in late night. Like I say, it's, it's hey, man, it's South Central, man, LA. They prowling that night. We come through, you know, the light right there, coming down the hill, coming on Central. You got Van Ends right there, and they going straight, you know what I'm saying, to Inglewood. So dudes come through there, you know what I'm saying? They keep it up, uh, 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 going up. So we're like, okay, we we'll come through, hit it up, okay, whatever, whatever. We not, we know who they is. I ain't gonna call their name. So look, they come back through. They, you know what I'm saying? They back out the window. They giving it up. So you know, we all out there, we give it up, whatever, not. So they push off, you know what I'm saying? We ain't tripping, like, you know what I'm saying? I know what it is. I know how y'all gonna play it. So 
We sitting out there, we chilling. Lil Sandra stole the grandmama Cadillac. He didn't pull it up. So we out here talking. I'm in the window talking to him in the driver's side, talking. Man, dudes come back through. They didn't creep. I don't know where they went. I can't tell you. I ain't looking. I don't know. I'm out here slipping. We all out here slipping. Man, next thing you know, man, say nothing but bottle rockets. You hear me? Yeah, man, got them, got, got them short land missiles. They rolling. And they coming through hard. So, yeah, so they get them land missiles off. You feel me? So, man, look, Joseph. Man, I was finna try to get in the car, like get in the window, right? But before I even got a chance to make a move, when that bird, that boy fur hit that back window and blew it out, he, ah, he smashed. So I got, I kinda got bumped by the car door. Boom, now I get out the way, I'm on the, I'm on scatter. We all scatter like, like man, like water bugs, you feel me? We out of here, woo, the lights came on. Everybody moving. Man, this boy got the missiles going so hard. Man, I could just hear them boys flying by. You know what I'm saying? Like small torpedoes, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh Lord, man, don't let me, oh, not tonight, not, not, don't let it go down tonight. So, right, look, I'm getting off, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to get up into the, to the courtyard, a little sitting in the apartments, right? So you got the little iron gates, then you got the little opening where you come up the steps and come into the courtyard. Man, I'm coming, through, I'm coming around a car. I'm talking about like, them boys landing. I'm talking about, boy, they trying to land on their target. And I'm just like, ooh, we. So, you know, everybody moving. So I get up the breeze, I get up the little steps. I'm trying to get, I know where I'm going in the breezeway. So I'm like, get to the court. I'm hearing the boys hit that iron rod gate. Beep, ding, 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 beep, beep, ding, ding. I'm like, oh, Lord. Man, I get through there and I stumble, right? Man, I get, uh, I get across there, right? And, uh, when I'm coming up, I get, a, I get one come across my back, right? Come straight across. I don't, at the moment, I just felt something hot. But I really didn't feel like I got hit. But I think I had got hit. I was I was confused because I got a, I got a, I got a hoodie on, a t-shirt, and a, and, a, and a jacket. So, you know, it's late night, man. So, I, I felt that, that bite uh, across my back, and I just kept it pushing, right? But as I, as I, Going up in the courtyard, you know how you just be so, so wired up, your adrenaline flowing so hard, man, it'll hit your nervous system. So my heart and stuff was pumping so fast, and I felt like I didn't got hit in the back. Man, my adrenaline so hot, it set, it just attacked my nervous system. Boom, everything just shut down. Boom, 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 and I just fell on the on the ground. Boom, and I roll over, I'm laying there. So all the melee didn't stop, it's, you know. So I'm just laying there trying to catch my breath. I got lightweight asthma, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like in panic mode. Like, I don't know if I done took a bad, bad lick. I don't know, but I'm feeling it now, right? I'm really feeling it. And boy, that sucker burning. And I'm like, oh man, this shit crazy. And I'm laying there and everybody come outside and the whole girl want to come outside with a little sister Tina. And they like, oh shit, Punky got hit, Punky got hit. Man, I'm laying there, I'm like, oh man, don't let, you know what I'm saying, don't let it go down like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Help me up, help me up. They like, no, 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 no. So the homie nut, he run over there, what's up, come on? And then he like rolled me over, don't you all right, you all right? And I'm like, damn. But I'm feeling like, damn, I'm like, my back burning, but I don't feel like I'm like nothing wrong. Like I can move my arms or whatever. So I sit up and I'm like, cut, let's get up, but I gotta go in the breeze way. So we get up, we go in the breeze way, I take my jacket off table with my hoodie all right and you know i got my t-shirt my t-shirt wet so i'm like damn so them were like god damn and i'm like what 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 boy you lucky as hell and i'm like what you talking about boy you took one right across your back and i'm like for real and i'm like i can't see it but they tell you touching like rubbing across my back and then like, and like come across like that like he came across the man say what you lucky as hell you lucky as hell that boy comes straight across. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, I gotta go see this. So I go in the house, in the apartment, go in the bathroom, go in the bathroom, and get the little hand mirror, and I'm looking back there. I see the little Morgan. I see it going across the trail, going across my back, right? Across my shoulder blades down to my little kidney. So I'm thinking to myself, damn, whoa, man, thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice little, you know what I'm saying, a little old hit, but I'm thinking to myself, I, this shit, I take this any day. I take this any day before making con direct contact. I take that. So you know we, I get cleaned up, or whatever. And, uh, 
Oh, girl, come in there. She cleaned me up. We went up, put some alcohol on. Now I let wipe it up. Now you see it. We back at it, right? So, of course, you know the drill and flowing. You know, y'all know the drill. Y'all already know how the drill gonna go. So, man, I'm thinking to myself, man, was it? We don't know. Honestly, I can't say this, that, who, that, who. I ain't gonna even say that anyway. But I'm just letting y'all know the drill. So I'm like, okay, cool. So that later that night, man, we still chilling, right? We still out there and whatnot. So the next morning, you know, I go through, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I got a little old something. I'll be messing with an Eaglewood. So I slide off an Eaglewood early in the morning because this one, I'll be doing my thing, right? With her. When I slide down, who go down there? I, I purposely, yeah, this is me. I'm just saying, this is me. I ain't trying to beat you at the story, but me. I go down, I go straight down a little century because this was the time when they be on that bullshit down there and they don't go down there to woodwork. That's when the dairy was still there before they tore all that stuff down. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know from LA and you know the eat woods and you know the bottoms. Y'all know where the dairy is and the woodwork and lose that chicken on the other side. A nigga that's a rip better not get caught at that light because them niggas is out there, right? By the dairy. They on the corner looking in every car. So you know me. I don't give a damn, I'm pulling up because I'm really on that bullshit. So I go down there to Woolworth because I got to go past it, go on down to Prairie and make that right and get on up, go where I'm going, right? So uh, when I go through there, you know what I'm saying? I, I, got, I got my lookout on, I got my binoculars on, I'm looking, I'm looking, I don't see nothing. So I don't, you know, I'm looking for indications because if these the culprits, whoever was out there, if they, was, they had something to do with the issue, they gonna give a hard look. Sometimes they don't do that, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, just my theory of it. So, man, you know, I push off for one night and go on. And so, uh, I get back, you know what I'm saying, for doing my thing or whatever, and I got a set of clothes on that I changed, whatever, took showers and all this. But I get back to on the century, man, I'm wondering, like, what's going on in the courtyard? You know what I'm saying? So, crazy, I'm telling you, this is crazy. So, when I pull up, I go up in the courtyard, I'm like, man, what's all the people out here for? What's going on? And then, uh, the homie done, he didn't pay Lil Tina to beat the, I don't want to call her name. Well, beat old girl up that gave me the 200 because she owned some bread, right? He ain't trying to hear it. So he paid Lil Tina to dust off. So that's what's, that's what's going on. She had her whooping the woman in, in the courtyard. So I'm like, come on, like that, but it ain't none of my business. It ain't none of my business. I got my bread, so they ain't got nothing to do with me. So, you know, I watched the Maylee or whatever, and she, of course, Lil Tina mocked the lady up and all that whatnot. He still didn't get no bread. I just know it just, it didn't make sense to me at the moment, but I get it, you know what I'm saying? So all that being said and whatnot, man, I'm chilling. The boy. So I'm over here chilling in the apartment. So they got a vacant upstairs. So I go up in the vacant upstairs, right? And I'm up there, you know, doing my little thing, trying to get my things ready for the day so I can make some moves, right? So when I go back downstairs, Man, ain't nobody else. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just chilling. So I go in the Wonder House. I grab a little, uh, I grab a little quote and I, I slide back outside. So as I'm walking down the sidewalk, you know, it's early. It's like about, about noon, one o'clock. I'm walking back down the sidewalk. I don't know that the motherfucking uh, Linux, the one time they didn't got everybody jammed up in the next building. So I'm going over to the next building because I know cowboys stay over there. So I'm going over there to see what's happening, right? So as I'm coming up the stairs and I get in the courtyard, I don't see nothing. It's quiet. It's, hey man, it's quiet. So I'm walking and I'm walking toward the back. So for the laundromat, you can go through the breezeway right there. The laundromat, we in the alley. You can hit these people back there and cut through the fence. And we on the 102nd. That's, you know, that's how we cut through. So I'm going that way because so I see like, Man, shit, ain't nobody over here, so they must be over here on the 102nd, right? So as I'm walking, you know, going through the courtyard, when I'm going toward the building at the back, over here to the left, I can't see them yet. I walk right up, and by the time I pass the end of the building, I see this. I see one time I got the boys hemmed up, got them on knees, left hands locked behind their head, draw down, they pat people down. So they don't see me, so I freeze up. Oh, oh shit. I slide back, take you a couple of little quicks, little slow steps bagging up, right? Man, I'm about to turn around, hey, you, come here up. I'm like, ah. Oh. So it's like, yeah, so anyway, y'all, I'm gonna tell you what the end result of that was. I just told you what I was doing. So they caught me with some work. So I go to jail, right? 
So this, I'm going to say it right, man. I done got my whole day just toe up because I done walked over here and walked into something. So I'm going to jail, man, going to, to the substation. And on the way to the substation, man, I'm thinking like, dang, man, they didn't need to check me all the way. And I got some work in my shoe. You know what I'm saying? I got to dump this somewhere. So uh, I don't know. Like, this is my first time you know, going to the substation over here. So I don't know how they going to play it. So long story short, I get in the hold over what now when I down check that. I got it inside the sole of my shoe. So I get it out and I flush it. So, you know, I take the little old possession charge or whatever, whatever they sent me downtown. And, uh, yeah, that's how my day started out and ended, man. Hell of a, you know what I'm saying? Just one of the days in the hood, man. It just on some crazy stuff.